Okay, and you are in no land for lazy chefs. Hello everybody and welcome to No Land for Lazy Chefs. Today I'm going to show you how to do an all-purpose dressing. It could be okay and good for salads, it could be for meats, chicken, for any kind of uh, dressing as you can imagine. And it's very simple and very easy. So here's what we're going to need. A bunch of fresh parsley, a coffee spoon of salt, some garlic cloves, an immersion blender, you can use, if you wish, the traditional one, which is the bath, but I'm more used to that one. And then a container to mix it all. And a jar to keep it in the fridge. This can last at least 10 days inside the fridge. And every time you need it, the dressing, get a couple of spoonfuls of this dressing and put over the meat that you're grilling or just pour it on a salad. So let's go for it. Hey guys, I just realized that I forgot the most important thing for the dressing, which is oil. I'm using one pint of oil. It is extra virgin olive oil, but you can use any oil. Sunflower, canola oil, the oil that suits you most. Okay, so that is the main ingredient, which I forgot to mention earlier. Without that, no dressing. Okay, so let's go for it. So all we have to do now is to get a good bunch, a generous bunch of parsley. Just do it like this. Just like that. Maybe a bit more. Why not? Let's be generous. Here we are. And let's put this away. And put it in the mixing bowl that I'm going to use, which is, there you go. Now, the garlics. All these, there is like about seven or eight cloves of garlic in here, inside of the container. Salt, the tablespoon of salt in there. And of course, the oil. There you go. The main reason why I prefer the immersion blender is because you just need the container where you're going to mix, plug it, this, and ready to go. It's gonna be a bit noisy now. Okay. Well, this is most of it. There you go. Now let's put this away. We don't need it any longer. We don't want to really mash the entire thing because we just want the little chunkies of uh, garlic, as you see here, and also the parsley. So here it is. And guys, believe it or not, the dressing is ready. What we have to do now is get the jar, fill it up. Okay, there is uh, some of the best part is in here. So let's get one of these spoons and make sure that we get everything inside of the jar that we're going to store it. As it is oil, it could be in a room temperature cabinet, but I prefer to put it inside of the cooler, inside of the fridge and like this, just let's imagine for a moment, just for a moment, that we are, have a salad here and we put our favorite ingredients into the salad or that we have a, pa a pan here with the steak grilling. So at the very end of it, I just grill the steak or the salad. I just get a spoonful of this or two spoonfuls of this, as you can see, and just pour it over what you're cooking. So these guys, you know, more than once. Even if you make a sandwich, uh, instead of butter, just spread a little bit of this oil in the bread and then your favorite filling, ham and cheese, uh, turkey, 
um, I don't know, uh, prosciutto, jamon serrano, whatever you like, you know, pastrami, that goes perfect with pastrami, by the way, okay? And as you have seen, it's totally vegan. That's another good point about this. All you have to do is make sure that the lid is well closed and store it in the fridge. So with this, as simple as that, this is another episode or chapter or video clip of No Land for Lazy Chefs. Thank you guys. <laughs>